Oscar, can you tell Box Nation viewers what sort of treat are they going to be in for this weekend when they stay up all night to watch this monumental clash? Action, action, action. Um, it, it's it's going to be it's it's going to be a can't miss fight. It's going to be one of those um, action-packed uh, fights where there's a lot of passion, where there's a lot of uh, a lot of, a lot's at stake. I mean, one guy has the whole Mexico behind him and. Uh, Another guy has all of Puerto Rico behind him and, you know, the U.S. fans, the U.K. fans, everybody around the globe is, is expecting a great fight and I, I believe that's what they're going to deliver. And in this fight, is it a blow for Canelo that, he, that Cotto won't go into the ring as champion and only he can win the WBC belt? No, I, I, I personally think it's disrespectful to the sport, to the promotion. Um, it does create a little controversy here in the promotion, which is always a good thing. Um, I remember uh, being promoted by uh, Bob Arum, my, my good friend, and he would always expect a little controversy the week of the fight. So uh, here we are, now we have it. And But I feel it's a disrespect to the sport and a disrespect to the uh, whole promotion. Every kid's dream, every, every fighter's dream is to be the WBC world champion, middleweight especially. So to do something like that, is, it's, it's, a it's, it's a disgrace to the sport. When you say disgrace, do you mean the WBC or Miguel Cotto? No, Miguel. Miguel. I mean, the WBC, uh, um, obviously, look, Miguel didn't follow the rules and regulations of the WBC, and the WBC had to strip him. And, uh, you know, I mean, the fact that uh, uh, this was an easy fix, uh, the fact that Miguel Cotto didn't, uh, didn't uh, make the effort, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really uh, disappointing. And will Canelo make him pay for that for you? I believe so. I believe so. I mean, if he was if he was angry and uh, and 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 uh, and and, and uh, Saturday night, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's really going to be angry uh, uh, come that first bell. I mean, uh, he's going to make him pay. And if he wins on Saturday, will he go that Golovkin direction, or will he maybe look at something like the winner of the Billy Joe Saunders Andy Lee fight? Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, yeah, is he going to fight Golovkin? Absolutely. I mean. Canelo's not afraid of nobody. He's gonna fight everybody. That's just that's his character. That's I mean, it reminds me of some of the best fighters out there that used to just take on everybody. That's who he is. And um, is he gonna fight Golovkin? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I mean, he's 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 uh, he's a human being just like everybody else. So, um, but uh, but first things first. Um, you know, we don't know if there can be a rematch. We don't know if uh, it's such a great fight. It calls for another one. We don't know if it can be a trilogy. We'll have to wait and see on Saturday night. How much has he improved since the Floyd Mayweather fight? You're with him a lot. You see him in the gym? Night and day. Um, I've visited him 12 times in the gym. Night and day. He's faster on his feet. He's lighter, throwing more combinations, moving his head more. Every single fight he's had, including that loss with Mayweather, just catapulted his career to new heights. It made him a complete fighter. And he's only 25 years old. That's what people tend to forget. Funny. You, made, you, you wrote a letter about Floyd Mayweather last week. What made you um, write that letter? Well, I, I, I believe it was uh, it, it was just the way I was feeling. I, I uh, was sitting down one day at home and uh, I said, you know what? Um, let me let me write something where people are, are thinking all across the world. What people are thinking? Let me let me let me write something that that uh, that people are afraid to uh, to to uh, to write. And, um, you know, I, I just call it the way it is. And I think a lot of people will not disagree with me. Was that the honesty maybe from your program you follow in life to write that? Was that sort of following your program you, you go through in life to write the truth or what you're believing? Well, look, I mean, it's just, it's, it's the truth. I mean, it's the truth. And, uh, you know, I think people deserve to know the truth.